Hello, this is Mike Lively, and welcome to PHP in 5 Lessons by Lively. And we're on lesson 3 today. We're going to go over uh, design and MySQL databases. So let's get to it. In this particular lesson, we actually start with inheritance, and we build a 3D calculator in Flash Builder. So remember, our emphasis in PHP here is actually using it in Flash Builder. So we're doing things just a little bit different. So if you're a Flash Builder guy, you're going to be going hooray, hooray. And if you're a PHP guy, just wait. We're going to be, in lesson five, we'll be taking a look at uh, Facebook applications. So you need Flash Builder actually for the lesson 33, 34, and 35. And then we're going to move on and talk about databases, creating databases using PHP by admin. And all that can be done in PHP Eclipse without uh, Flash Builder. And of course, we're going to talk about the wonderful Celt software, which is basically a movie storyboarding software. I actually used that for Lexmark when I actually did a video series for them. And in this process, we're going to actually use our start modeling and designing and say, hey, here's a nice model. Let's see how we build a database to mimic this. And so we talk about the Celt software. Then we start talking about relational databases, talk about building config file. We're going to connect that database up. We talk about a wonderful uh, reference that I use from time to time. That's W3Schools. And we actually talk about their SQL uh, approach. We develop a database class that you can use to talk to your database. And uh, we talk all about SQL, all the wonderful commands of SQL, the full CRUD. And CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. And that's actually a few other things we do as well. So once we get all that working, we finally show you how to order your pages. And just go ahead and watch the video. You'll understand what that means once you get to it. And finally, we go back to Flash Builder, and we show you just by using Flash Builder's data wizard how we can actually generate all the codes which can generate in these 15 videos just with a few click and drag operations. This is marvelous. I mean, Flash Builder auto generates all this code for you. Of course, you need to understand the PHP so you can actually go in there and modify it, and you will need to do that to actually upgrade its security and fix any bugs that might appear. So it's important that you actually do learn all of this, and then in Flash Builder, once you auto generate that code, you'll be able to modify it very easily. So that's lesson three. What I want you to do as an assignment, of course, then download and run all the example code. Uh, develop your own database using phpMyAdmin. Create your own database class that talks to your own database. And then uh, connect it and run all the CRUD. So once you start working with your own database, you'll have an emotional connection there. And it'll mean a lot more to you. So go through my videos. And once you get through that and work through all of that, go ahead and develop your own design and just go for it. And we're going to be moving on to some pretty exciting stuff. Uh, let me just review what we're going to be doing next time. We'll be looking at files and passwords and sessions, and finally we'll be looking at Facebook applications. So hang on, we've got some really cool stuff coming along down the pike, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.